right. Time to yes. get into WWS SmackDown yes. for so, March 29th, 2001. Yes. The Go Home Show to WrestleMania yes. 17. I was watching during this time. Can you believe that? We get the greatest hardcore that match of all time <laughs> at WrestleMania 17. We are. That this matches. is actually the go home to just that match. Just holy fuck. I feel like it is actually. Not That's like, what people not, remember not the not most from that pay per view is the the big show. You know what's Raven crazy? Hardcore. It's actually probably one of them. I feel like I it's hear that be. match reference quite a bit. It's. Austin I Rock. remember that. I remember where yeah. I was watching that match. Yeah. I, like, wow. Okay. Which is crazy. Yeah. Like I remember like the moment, and I don't know why. Um, the, gla you know, the glass spot, right? That's probably that's, what, it's, it's got to be the golf cart. cart spot. Yeah, the golf cart. Yeah. It's the golf cart spot. I think I remember the most as a kid. I was like, "This is fucking so cool." Look at what the I hell? can't wait for them to put that in the games. <laughs> that's what I yeah, thought was. <laughs> <laughs> I got close. Uh, I got a forklift. Whatever. <laughs> I'll take it. Crazy fucking pay per view course. All timer pay per view. Yes. Uh, but we're gonna talk about the show before the pay-per-view yes. so uh let's get into it here we had yes. a cold open uh three days ago wrestling died forever and ah, it never recovered fuck jeff jared <laughs> vince man bought wcw oh. and it showed it on a sony crt tv <laughs> overlay that was awesome <laughs> yeah, vince was is cool. talking what is the fate the fate the fate the very fate of w is in my the hands. Fate. I own. I now own. I now own WCW. And then they they cut to a shot of Vince in the in his in his office, and I don't know. I I guess Vince couldn't figure out you know what show was on what channel, so they specifically had two CRT TVs, <laughs> one that said WWF on top, and one that said WCW. <laughs> couldn't figure it out. I can't read. <laughs> what what is these both shows like the same? <laughs> Jeff Jarrett's on both of them. What the hell? <laughs> Why are they? The only line that they showed from that was him was firing, firing Jeff Jarrett, man. Yeah, I don't know if he knows how to spell. Actually, he says Jeff Jarrett is G double O double N double E. He's right. gone, Tony. <laughs> Go goonie. goonie. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett is a Goonie. Jeff Jarrett is Goonie. You That's probably why I let him go the first time. Here. He didn't understand the fucking gimmick, man. I don't. I don't like. I never spell. understood it. <laughs> Double J. What the hell does that mean? I don't want to fucking spell, bitch. Wrestle. <laughs> Ben says he will sign the WCW contract at WrestleMania when Ted Turner walks down the aisle and hands it to him. You think there was a world where that was almost a thing? Has no that ever been discussed? Way. Ever, Ted like Turner ever? would have shot on Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so sick. Ted Turner was like a down double, like, like that, man. Type you think shoot? Ted Turner had hands? Ted Turner lost like a billion dollars on the WCW. <laughs> he would have fucking taken Vince out in a second. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mr. McMahon, get down. <laughs> Vince says WCW is buried and will stay buried, and including Remain my son Shane. Buried. You will also be buried. You piece yeah, of shit. I will, and also, I will, bar, I will continue to bury you for the next 25 years. <laughs> WCW sucked. It always sucked. It was never good, and it still sucks today. It sucks now. It'll suck tomorrow, and it'll suck in 2022. Forever. I promise you that. Uh, Shane, of course, walks out on WCW television during... Spring break. What the hell? Hey, at the beach hey, Damn, with that, a turtleneck on. <laughs> that flight must have sucked cost wise. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, during spring break? Oh, shit. Yeah. No. God. Spring break flight. Shane. Are fucked up, brother. Shane is fresh off his hose era, man. He gave up on that. He said, I got a business to run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turtleneck time. I heard WCW's got some bodacious tatas oh, over here. Oh, we can wrestle no, at that's rage it. party. We're Shane's done. Over. <laughs> Dude, hose era, done. Turtleneck no, time. It yeah. Can't be. I know turtleneck Shane, is spring break. Shane. Hose era over. Shane and the Mean Street Posse with bodacious tatas <laughs> running WCW. <laughs> what year had, was that? Yeah, 2000? Shane was, that was 99, right? 99, no, Jose era way no, over. Shane, Shane was Jose, still, this is adult no, Shane, Shane is now. Still Turtle neck down, running has, business. Has, no way. He has Stacy on his arm after this. Every No way, dude. That's a, that's a test thing. That's a Steiner thing. <laughs> No way. <laughs> we forget that. Just Jose era is over. <laughs> okay. I mean, the contract even read S double H double A double N double E. Shut up. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> that was at the I end of the contract. <laughs> Bam. I still Put my remember name watching the uh, WCW feed of that where it echoes twice. Hey, Vince. Hey, Vince. Oh, yeah. We reviewed that, I believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's fucking yeah. crazy. God, we reviewed bro. a lot of stuff, haven't we? I om while I was watching this, I almost panicked halfway through because I thought we watched this already. <laughs> I've seen a lot of this before, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, of course, everybody on the ground intro starts playing. Smoke and crack. I guess, you know, I don't this know was... if this is true or not, but yes. I, I guess it didn't occur to me that, that they could actually play like sound effects during the pyro. I'm like, how do they get the pyro to sound exactly the same every single show? I don't know oh, if this yeah. is true or not. But I think they could it is. have done that. I, I'm pretty sure they do. I think, um, because I, I mean, the only reason, I mean, I'm sure back then they could have, because I know um, they did it. Remember Ryback's entrance? When like yeah. he would hype up and like smash the thing, he didn't actually have pyro. It was just sound. Right, right. No, yeah, yeah. So like, I they definitely could have did that. So they probably were canning audio. I mean, there are real fireworks that make that noise. But it they're is, sure. use the same it, ones. It is loud as fuck in person. But yeah, I could yeah. see it not translating as well to TV. So they had to like put no, some yeah, sound yeah, in for there. sure. Also, the there was a lot of shots in this SmackDown intro that I wasn't familiar with. I was like, this intro feels off like there's a shot of big show's head steaming <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> that's i don't know here man that sounds about right yeah okay yeah the, uh, the the best my best shot or my favorite shot in that thing uh, is well i mean obviously but <laughs> steve austin drinking the beer right towards the end i don't know why that's oh always yeah 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 i yeah, think yeah, it's the way true. it looks pew, 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 pew. uh we start the show off huge fucking benoit sign here just massive um, and they stay with a on big it drawing of him too yeah fuck <laughs> no drawing of this guy <laughs> What there's the a hell? ton of signs here ton. oh yeah yeah there's got, one says a meat curtain and one says lick bag <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> those are like the uh those are like the wrestling connects people signs <laughs> but for, their time for, but oh. for 2001 it's like who farted <laughs> dude someone brought a who farted sign to dynamite by the way oh whoa, yeah i think you saw it on <laughs> reddit on. yeah I, I know he saw it on no, reddit no man <laughs> <laughs> He's Come on, Dude, man. Are, I'm, I'm thinking of the wrestling connect side, but it's like meat curtains and it's actual curtains. <laughs> People Opens enjoying... it up, there's a camera. <laughs> <laughs> enjoying wrestling through meat curtains. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ready for that, man. No way. Holy shit, that would be that's so like 2099 wrestling goes. 2099, we're coming. <laughs> that's fucking right. <laughs> Hell yeah. So you know what's funny, man? Vince <laughs> buys WCW, right? All right, this yes. fucking company's dead forever. Fuck so we're going to kick off SmackDown with a 20-minute Triple H holy, promo, man. Holy shit, He said we man. can do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, man. Yeah, they, they had no competition. Where are you going to go? Where are you going? This was the worst ever. <laughs> Dude, I was so bummed out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is horrible. When Triple H came out and did his whole entrance slow time, I said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> In the he jeans and the vest, and this look dude, is yeah. insane. I want to show this up to like DPW half, like this. Halfway there, man, comes out with the denim fucking vest <laughs> or the leather jacket with the hat. The beret but he doesn't come out to my time anymore, man. Yeah, that's so sad. That's yeah, so I know. fucking sad. I know. Um, Speaking Stephanie of, and the uh, cops are here with him, though. Yes, Stephanie and the police, because Triple H has a restraining order on uh, Undertaker and Triple H is out here to announce his retirement <laughs> and everyone's gonna post pictures like he died or something <laughs> yeah, black and white photos <laughs> for some reason <laughs> So um, they all, oh, speaking of the theme song, they they are have little advertisement for WWF The Music Volume 5. And I love the cover of WWF The Music Volume 5 because it is The Rock holding a pie, which is, of course, <laughs> the Rock's <laughs> insinuation of pussy, of course. <laughs> it's just American Pie the movie. It's all it is. It's Rock here with some Dude, pussy. <laughs> pussy was so popular in 2001. Dude, I heard there's a pussy shortage these days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Shane was fresh off his hose era. In 2001. Come Plus on, man. Bring so it back over. up for a few notches. <laughs> You're missing out, man. So Bring it back. <laughs> Stephanie looks just fantastic here, by the way. Good for just, her, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Triple H wonders why he doesn't have a world title shot at WrestleMania because he is the best wrestler. And, <laughs> I mean, that's uh, fair, I guess. Shot. <laughs> they chant asshole argument. at him for like two straight minutes. <laughs> well, he says, why did I get a shot at WrestleMania? And Cole says, well, Stone Cold earned his by winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah, well, shut Fuck up, you, man. <laughs> shut up, bitch. <laughs> Triple H says Undertaker made the biggest mistake of his career when he said that Triple H could not beat him. Oh no. Triple H says Undertaker's yard is in the middle of Triple H's world. Whoa. My world I feel my like we hear world. that line for twenty more yeah, years. Yeah, Triple H. Yeah. They, they run a jacket just, during the Hell in a Cell match. I'm sure they say it again. Every wrestler that wrestles Triple or Undertaker after this at a pay per view says this shit, man. Yeah. You know what's crazy about this is that Triple H kept insinuating that he was talking about The Undertaker, 
but no one understood what he was talking about until he said <laughs> my like, yard. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He was like the phenom. <laughs> They're like, yeah. eh, I don't know. Uh, I'm a, he, he's also said you've only seen a small, little itty bitty titty committee portion of what I'm capable of. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I got 20 minutes. I'm just, I'm freestyling." I don't know. Uh, it showed footage from last week when Taker came down to the ring handcuffed. Uh, <laughs> This is insane, by the way. <laughs> Taker just waddles down to the ring handcuff and then Triple H beats the shit out of him with a sledgehammer. What's gonna happen? He's gonna throw big boots and just get the fuck away with this? Triple H said, yeah, look at that. Beat you up, bitch. Look at that. Yeah, come out <laughs> here. I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm gonna whoop your brother's ass. And I'm gonna whoop your ass again. Fuck yeah, he you. said, look, your brother was watching. Who came? <laughs> I see my brother because he knows my name. There's so <laughs> much fucking too. There's so much time. They they recap SmackDown and Raw during the show. Triple H is promoing through the whole thing, by the way. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, it showed footage la- yeah, from Raw where Triple H hit Taker with a chair and then Steve Austin pinned Undertaker. Triple H says Undertaker said that I can't beat him. Well, up until now, I haven't even tried. <laughs> true. That's, That's for fucking- true. I said, Keep rolling, right. rolling, rolling, no. rolling, rolling. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not over yet. Undertaker's got to pontificate. It's time. I can't believe they were letting this guy come out here talk in freestyle mode. I was like, oh my God. He talks for somehow seemingly longer than <laughs> Taker. Taker was freestyling even worse. Holy he comes out and says, fuck. it's not a game anymore. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> oh, did you guys notice the cops here? Who are the cops? Oh my god, Bobby Roode and Ken Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty Anderson sweet. Robert Roode, what the hell? That's wow, awesome, man. Okay. They should have. I don't. Yeah. I guess the other guys were wrestlers. I, I didn't recognize probably. Them, yeah, yeah, they didn't get the Triple H rub. <laughs> uh, Undertaker music hits. He has Roland still. Yeah, just based on that, Undertaker obviously should win. Sure. Uh, Taker says that he has a little bitty when he. I'm sorry, when he was a little bitty dead man. I said, where are we going with this? this. Taker says, when I was a, and he does like a little thing with his hand where he's like, this is how tall I was. When when I was a little bitty dead man, I had to go to school just like everybody else. He was dead. It's you're killing the lore of the Undertaker right here. Just bare it. No, 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 no. We're good. Good. Taker says, when it was time for recess, they sent my little ass home. You know why they sent me home? Because I don't play games. <laughs> what, does that, what does that mean? <laughs> this, dude out, this dude came out here after Triple H got a 15 minute promo and said, Yeah, they used to call me Ranch the way I was dressing. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Fuck See, off, fucking, fuck the Undertaker you. was so lame in school that they sent his boring ass home because he was bumming everybody out. Get your dead little ass out of here. I don't play any games, man. Any game. of the baseball games or nothing. They he said, was getting you annihilated get here, in dodgeball. You know that was fucking Go happening. home. Yeah. Go home. <laughs> you imagine this little goth Dude. kid standing in the corner. I don't want to play games. <laughs> Pick me. <laughs> stop, doing the, for stop, stop doing the eye roll thing, you little fucking weird guy. Uh, you freak. <laughs> in my yard. No way. No, it's it's the schoolyard, man. Well, I kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, Undertaker got his ass whooped. That's why they really sent him home. Uh, Undertaker <laughs> then starts talking about dogs. Oh no, man. What did he yeah. say here, man? He said, "You made reference to my yard. Now I run it. You're pretty feel pretty proud of yourself." For the 16 staples, I guess, you know, from the sledgehammer or chair. Uh, holy shit. Oh, God. He says, sometimes when you jump over that fence and you end up <laughs> in the big dog's yard, that doggy don't move. <laughs> so you move a little closer. What? <laughs> and that dog, that dog don't move some more. <laughs> He's I swear he one. does it like five more times. You, then, you take another step, he, dog you still don't move. You move a little closer and you look down and you wonder, what the dog do? <laughs> you want to fuck the dog? And then... What the dog doing? The dog raises his head and you realize all along what the dog is doing. And then the dog gets his boner or something. <laughs> Just... Fucking, can we bring back WCW yet? Like, what's happening here, man? No I can't way, believe man. this. Nowhere to go. This yeah, is crazy. WCW you going? died, and within the same week, WWF said, Yeah, you guys go do that promo. <laughs> you guys go do that. Talk about the little bitty dead man. Take us out. Yeah, that's when a dog gets his bone. And Colt, Michael Cole says, Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But somehow it gets even worse. I don't even know. We love you, dead man. Yeah, bone right. dog. 
All right, so Taker talks dog. about dogs in fucking school, and then Taker starts walking to the ring. <laughs> Stephanie starts. I can't even understand her. She's screeching she so badly. I have a twenty um, foot foot restraining order against that man. He's in violation. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah. Uh, so Taker, Taker said, okay. Princess, shut your face. Shut, your face. <laughs> shut the hell up. Before I take out my little bitty dead man. <laughs> I got a little bitty dead man right here. <laughs> Look like a dog. And if you get a little closer, he might not move. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing dead. <laughs> yeah, play no games. Bobby Roode said, now hold on a minute. <laughs> You freak. We're going to TNA soon. <laughs> We're going to TNA. This shit sucks. We need TNA. We are doomed. We are Taker, doomed. Okay, so this Taker said he made three phone calls. I think he actually said he made two phone calls and then added a third one. <laughs> this is insane. He said, if I showed up tonight, you'd have Johnny Law waiting on me. I don't want to say it. the hell's that? I don't know. He's not a DPW. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no way. I hope not. He called a lawyer, uh, a bail bondsman here in Detroit. Yeah. Because if he goes to jail tonight, he will be out in 12 hours. Now, why? How is it? What? <laughs> how are you allowed to get away with this? Why are yeah, you so allowed to say this on TV? We have a corrupt system here well, in it's Detroit. Detroit yeah! so. Detroit's <laughs> finest, you know. They're, if it was WCW, crooked. we'd have Detroit's finest. You're right. <laughs> That's true. Uh, third call was 911 uh, because Triple H will be in need of medical help here tonight. So not only did he call a bail bondsman to get himself out of jail for a, com a crime he is about to commit, but he told the cops that I am going to commit a crime. <laughs> he loves the police so much that he called that was them the early. That said that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> again. That was again. <laughs> <laughs> This is Mark calling. <laughs> I need some cops here. <laughs> so Undertaker rushes, <laughs> Taker rushes Triple H and beats him up. Uh, and well, well, you know it, Triple or uh, Taker gets handcuffed again. Yeah, well, I mean, how do how, you think a bunch of people tried to break the restraining orders that night because Undertaker was just breaking the law and getting away with it? <laughs> I'll do what I want. I'll get yeah, it's like a free night. <laughs> yeah, purge <laughs> night, Detroit style. <laughs> Fuck. Oh God. <laughs> so yeah, Taker gets in, starts whooping Triple H's ass. Taker beals Triple H into the cops, which I thought was actually pretty sweet. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. And then Taz, they're getting, they're taking him away again. And Taz on camera says, he's willing to go to the joint. He's willing to go to jail. <laughs> well, he's going right. to get out in 12 hours, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, none of this matters. He actually made it sure none of this mattered <laughs> yeah. because he said, I'll be out. So, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Don't worry, Why I'll make even... it to WrestleMania access. I'll be there. <laughs> Signing autographs. <laughs> you think he would not, like, tell you he's going to be out because it creates suspense? But no way. He said, no, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm going to sign autographs in 12 and if you hours. Call, and if you come up to me, the dog might not move. You get a little closer. <laughs> you got to get a little closer. <laughs> So we get a <laughs> WWF propaganda video about how the you dangerous. shouldn't be starting backyard feds. Don't be a bonehead. <laughs> Mick Foley said, don't wrestle in your backyard. Now, Mick. <laughs> Jeff Hardy is trying to tell me not to backyard. Are you fucking kidding me? No, Jeff. You, you and your brother trained each other in the backyard. <laughs> Uh, we go backstage. It shows Undertaker being escorted out by the cops. I jumped uh, off my roof after that video, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, for sure. I definitely made a Don't Try This at Home in My Backyard video <laughs> with my friends. Absolutely. I was jumping off the rails. Push my friend down the stairs. She don't try this at home. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's actually, I think it actually informed kids that you could do this at home. I don't think anybody was you really thinking shouldn't. about it. And they said, yeah, check this yeah. out. Yeah, you can. Because it shows a bunch of cool clips. It's like Jeff doing a swanton <laughs> bomb and like, you know, Mick Foley doing power drivers and shit. Oh, Hell yeah, it was awesome, I'm man. Gonna <laughs> I'm going to do it right now while I'm watching this show. Backstage, it shows Taker being escorted out. Uh, he asked the cops if they can stop to get some donuts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys going to take me to jail because I'll be out of there. Bro. He said, you guys can take me to jail because I'll be out of there before we get there. Huh? <laughs> now you do that. <laughs> okay, how you matter. know? That's how it matters. matters. Okay, how you know? <laughs> So the, <laughs> the Rock just shows up. Yeah. Uh, and William Regal is about to get slammed and jammed. Oh, epic no. style. He oh, had no chance. No. The Rock, Rock never not... gave anybody a chance ever. No way. We were talking about that, I feel like, the other day. Like, nobody even tried to, like, whoop his ass when he was just running them down for 10 minutes. Like, if, like, if one person just would have ran up and said, you better shut 
Oh, Hello, you better man. shut the fuck up and just slap them around. <laughs> like, it probably would have stopped a lot of trauma for yeah, everyone fuck. in the future. <laughs> but now they just let him do it. Billy Gunn just decided to fucking have his career shit on. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, then, and then he took it out on everyone else for the rest of his life. <laughs> so that's never happening again. <laughs> Also, also, how's The Rock's call time 20 minutes after Ross starts? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't even get me started on Steve Austin's call time. Dude, Dude, if our fucking wrestler showed up like 30 minutes after the show started, I'd be so fucking mad. What are you doing? Well. In a fat fart? Well. <laughs> that, was an, that wasn't his fault. No, that was, that was travel issues. <laughs> Rock, yeah, that's what if, Rock said. Well, if anyone showed up late in a fat farm jacket, I might let him go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. With the, yeah, with the little gear on it. Yeah, oh, true, I think that's yeah. okay. Uh, William Regal says, Steve Austin will be here tonight, and uh, please do not fuck with Steve Austin, as Vince McMahon does not want you to. And The well, Rock sits there for a second and just looks at him. <laughs> Aren't you the guy that drank pee last week? <laughs> oh, you're also a messenger boy. <laughs> Why did you do this? I, Regal listen, says, look, man, I, yeah. I'm just trying to tell you what Vince told me to tell you. I'm just trying to... So you drink pee? <laughs> <laughs> You like the taste of piss? Listen, I am the WWF commissioner. Well, I'm the rock. <laughs> WWF champion. Oh, fuck. oh, no. oh, oh fuck. no. He's about to end this man's whole career. This boy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I just. Vince asked me to drink pee. <laughs> <laughs> You peeing? You like it? You, like you want piss? some of the rocks strudel piss? <laughs> Riga just is sitting there. He's like, oh, man. You, you want to drink some Brahma urine? <laughs> Whoa, down, big fella. Whoa. <laughs> Why is it getting an erection? <laughs> Rock is an erection talking about pee. in Regal's mouth. Oh, fuck. Turns out The Rock is a piss boy. That's you like that? Because I do. <laughs> that's oh, piss? That's awesome. <laughs> Maybe we Follow can me. talk about this. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, WWF SmackDown is brought to you by Stacker 2. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Lori Lard Tobacco <laughs> Company Use Smoking <laughs> Prevention Program. Okay. And and I, I had to go back like twice to like write that. Just, I thought I thought it was a youth smoking program. Where please, they just please hang start out. smoking. Tad style. <laughs> uh, and Chef Boy RD overstuffed beef ravioli. Really Stacker two, cool. a real serious thing, and fucking overstuffed beef ravioli. All I gotta say, like, stop smoking. And then here's the APA with cigars playing. Damn it, damn smoke. It. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have APA versus X Pac and Just Incredible with Albert. Thankfully, um, Just Incredible is not in the long tights yet, so they still had a chance here for him. It doesn't and he last. Was still, yeah, he was still doing the entrance, you know, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. And Dude, to I be forgot. fair, this looked straight up like the Impact players, like it by yeah. WWF version. I forgot uh, Incredible had like four different runs in WWF. Even yeah, like Jesus, ECW. oh yeah, Aldo Montoya. Holy Shout shit. Out. Oh my god, yeah, with the little gimmick on it. With yeah, the face, oh with the mask yeah, thing, yeah, rough, yeah. Man. I don't know, the, the, <laughs> the Portuguese I mean, they had Al Snow coming out. Well, they have Al Snow coming out. Oh, he was Leaf Avatar, Cassidy. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf Cassidy. I barely know him as Al Snow, and you're telling me he's Leaf Cassidy? <laughs> Just incredible is lucky that they didn't have him come out as the fucking Portuguese man award. <laughs> <laughs> They should have him come out and scuff Steve Austin like Goldberg. <laughs> if you're lucky that didn't doing. happen. That is what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. He was already doing it. Did <laughs> <laughs> you that guy? Alright. Who's that? <laughs> you look a little bit like Stone Cold. Oh, no, Rock. No, Rock. Not now. <laughs> do, you like, do you like piss? <laughs> Right, just there. <laughs> he's just, he's <laughs> inside. <laughs> what you think that they ever saw Horace Hogan? <laughs> no way. I feel like no I feel way. like Hogan had to at least be like, "Hey, I got this guy." Oh man, yeah, I, I guarantee he pitched his Really? Because in my mind, Hulk Hogan hated Horace Hogan. No way. That was his boy. He got the job. He would have never got it. He never would have been WCW if Hogan didn't like him. No, I'm sure after though. I'm saying like as it went on, he saw who just was it that hated Horace? It was Russo. I think. I think me. Russo was like, "No way." <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you hated? What do you hate about him? He was a worker. He's the only good Hogan. What was his finish? <laughs> the stone cold stunner. Well, 
<laughs> or ace. Damn. Back, back, in, back in the good old days, you know, everyone had multiple finishes. So, you know, sure, really yeah, what yeah, is a course. finish, Johnny? Like, yeah. <laughs> that's a good question, Avatar. How many video games is Horst Hogan in? So, there you He's go. He's in one. Yeah, well, there you go. One's one more than most people. That's true. Did the bell ever ring for this match? Because I feel oh, like I don't it know. did. I, yes, it did, but not on this because they dubbed the theme song over so you couldn't hear the bell ring. Oh. They took the only goddamn good thing about this. I got everything said, I uh, ever wanted. Dude, yeah. You, you can't campaign. even give X Factor a chance if you don't got Uncle Cracker on this son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, this was just horrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck, man. So Farouk does a hammer throw, uh, catches him. I guess it was supposed to be into a power slam, and then midway Farouk said, I'm going to do a backbreaker. Holy shit. <laughs> he fucking kills him with this crazy ass backbreaker, dude. Yeah, that was nuts, man. Farouk was, was a awesome. beast. Farouk was awesome. Uh, Bradshaw goes to attack Credible on the outside, but Albert hits a pump kick and then bicycle. throws him back in. Yeah, no, it's it's a scissors, scissors kick. kick. A scissors, scissors kick. kick. <laughs> they, say, <laughs> they say scissors like four times. Scissors. scissors. <laughs> Where's your scissors, Albert? <laughs> <laughs> Just incredible at Xbox get a double suplex. Uh, and Bradshaw kicks out at two by throwing Xbox straight into the air. <laughs> as he should. Uh, and then Bradshaw starts whooping everyone's ass. That's classic. That's the classic shit. I love when I know when Bradshaw's going crazy when he drops the elbow. That's what I know he's oh, saying. That's oh, coming. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Bradshaw. This is not Hell wasted yeah. energy. <laughs> no <laughs> way, sure. Uh, Xbox hits a spinning heel kick on Bradshaw. Uh, when I was a kid, I thought that was the coolest move ever. I was like, wow, this is like crazy. I love like, doing that in uh, the games. They, no one would ever fall for it though like it, you would hit it and they would just stumble i was like oh come on yeah. so, oh, like damn. they do on tv uh bradshaw catches x Pac as he's holding x Pac. big boots just incredible <laughs> and then hits a fall away <laughs> slam and i said yeah it's about that time that guy fucking rules farouk fucking uh, double clothesline house of fire after he got tagged in too they're just running wild all these fucking guys no hope for stone cold or whatever <laughs> <laughs> right the sensor comes down to the ring uh, they start making a fucking mess in here, so Taz gets up <laughs> off commentary. <laughs> oh yeah, because he's a part of their match at Mania, right? I think that's, yeah, that's right there. Right, uh, and then he starts attacking right to censor, uh, which of course distracts the referee. Which allows Bull Buchanan to come in and hit a scissors kick. Dude. <laughs> scissors kick, not only, but it's on Farouk, who is pinning X Pac. So it's a scissors kick, and he has to like go. It's like a leg drop, really. Like it's yeah. crazy. Scissors yeah. leg drop, yeah. Yeah, it was sweet. Uh, he hits Farouk and then x Pac pins him and then they uh, the X-Factor wins. Yes. Um, Stevie Richards then hits a Stevie kick on Taz. Steven kick. Steven. <laughs> RTC Steven. Steven Richards hits a Steven kick <laughs> Thank you. on Taz. Two and Zs. Val Venus hits his rename move. The. Uh, Sean Morley. Oh, Sean. Okay, sorry. Sean <laughs> Morley Sean hits Morley. the. What, what did he call that? He's Money shot. <laughs> Are you gonna rename it? I was waiting for a second. I was like, yeah, I was like, is there a way to rename that? No, they didn't. just say money shot on comment. Hell yeah. Why didn't they rename it? You get that on Taz two Z's. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then, well, and then we move on. And then <laughs> they do what they like to call on commentary the right to censor salute. Yeah, they are. Uh, which, in I, retrospect, I wrote down RTC do a strange taunt over Taz. The right to censor salute, which maybe yeah, little, don't ever do that ever again. I feel like there's a reason I don't remember that one. That I genuinely, <laughs> genuinely did I was, not remember this. I was very caught off guard as they were. I was watching them, and slowly but surely, I was going, "No, this <laughs> was nuts." Uh, anyways, a limo with WCW one on the front license plate arrives. <laughs> Sadly, that's not true. Rip and win. <laughs> Fuck you. It wasn't WCW Nitro. They didn't have the logo. It was just Nitro. Yeah, um, Nitro WCW one. Oh, WCW one. Yeah, right, WCW one. Right, yes, they couldn't yes. get the they couldn't get the WCW logo. Wasn't that the deal? We don't want it. Oh God, yeah, you're right, Tony. They couldn't get like a lot of the assets yet. Like the yeah, That's I totally so forgot about that. Weird. Yeah, it was the same thing with ECW. They had like the name stuff, but they couldn't use like a ton of the assets. Oh my God, it's <laughs> the weird. extremists. They're here. Uh, they remember because on top of the TV they just put WCW. <laughs> yeah, no logo. Just no logo. White. Just WCW. Yeah. It's Shane McMahon. Um, Shane walks in, sees Eddie and Kurt talking backstage. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, Shane, I mean, Shane heavy daps all his boys. Hell yeah. Billy Gunn gets heavy dap later. <laughs> Eddie and Kurt, big dap. What's up, boys? You know we're holding it down. WCW style. <laughs> Ted Turner. Fuck I said, yeah. damn, he's about to go back into the hose era. Shane's going crazy. What's up, boys? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> 
Ah, that's that. Yeah. So, oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> Kurt was telling Eddie, he said, I didn't tap out on Monday. Yo, hey, listen, I, I didn't tap out on Monday. Yeah. Out. He said, all right, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> so, backstage segment, Shane sees Holy Matt and Jeff fuck. backstage. Shane said, what the fuck is up, boys? Matt Hardy, you already what know the what the fuck? fuck's going on. Matt Hardy, what the fuck are you wearing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the <laughs> gateway PC jacket. They custom. turned you into a cow? What happened? <laughs> he looks good, man. Got the box and everything. He's looking hot. Shane's like, hey, how's it uh, going? Shane, okay. <laughs> I was like, what happened to Lita? And I was like, oh, she must have got fucked up. Yeah, uh, Rhino she got gored, gored her. epic style, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, Matt asked Shane, is there any news? And he says, I'll keep you updated, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a Boom, fuck you. Yeah. That's a promoter fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> hey, man, what's going on with WCW? Yeah, 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 man. I'll, definitely, for sure. Hey, man, Jeff, you already know. Yeah. Jeff asked him, hey, what's up with you and your dad? And Shane just blows him off. Uh, you know. Same old shit, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you down. already know what the fuck's going on. Same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shane was crazy at this time, He's man. He's the best. Uh, Paul Heyman joins commentary in place of Taz. Uh, Paul Heyman says, apparently Vince... Band talk about WCW on commentary. They can only talk about one CW, and that is ECW. Whoa. Not CW, CW Anderson. Anderson, actually. <laughs> 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 Cole says, we just saw Shane McMahon and Heyman says, whoa, X A on the, the Shane A. <laughs> okay. I actually really like Paul Heyman on commentary. Paul Heyman is great on commentary. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he definitely uh, he definitely gets into it. He pissed so off Chris- Jim Ross so much. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, really. Uh, Chris Benoit and Tess versus Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle. Yeah, this is a WWF European title no mercy championship mode match. <laughs> <laughs> it shows footage of Angle and Benoit going back and forth uh, with Benoit tapping out Angle to the crossface. Not officially, but it was mm. a tap out. And Great they, fucking, by the way, even just the small back and forth here were was like, awesome. incredible. Yeah. It just felt like they were actually going, which they probably were actually. Yeah, I'm sure there was. You're going to have to fucking earn this motherfucker. So we get into the match here. Test uh, in the very, I'm talking like two moves in, hits the fucking (laughs) fallout bomb for a two. What the fuck? He, a and huge, he just moves on. A big flapjack and then fucking Dr. Bomb. I was like, what? And then, yeah, Eddie just hangs out. So I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they also I zoom in on that, yet. that big fucking Benoit drawing again. It's not Dude, that. it's huge. It takes up like the whole side of the ground. Oh, big ass teeth. Uh, Kurt Angle low blows Test, uh, yeah. locks in the ankle lock, but Test gets to the ropes. Te- well, um, well so in my opinion, Tess tapped out 40 times before he got to the ropes. Well, he was, he was slapping the mat like it was nobody's business. We're what back the before the we're back before the time of Taz. There's no tapping out anymore. Fair so enough. I guess you you're to, right. Yeah, you have to say give up. Uh, Kurt hits, which is like a crazy uh, thing to think yeah. about. No, you're um, right. I don't know if people knew that or not, but like, like before Taz, there was like really like tapping out wasn't like a common thing. Not really. No. Yeah. Uh, Kurt hits two German suplexes. Tess reverses the third, and then they go into a double down. Yeah, double close. Um, this is pretty hot. Yeah. Um, Eddie and Benoit get the hot tag. Test fucking destroys Eddie with the big oh. boot. Just- Eddie was hold- yeah, Eddie was holding Benoit for Kurt. And then Test runs in like a fucking train, and everyone just moves out of the way except Eddie, and he just takes his goddamn mullet off. Holy fucking kills him with this thing. How much this this felt like a video game spot. Yeah, it did. It was good. Just the execution, everything, yeah. Uh, Benoit and Eddie then touch back to back, and as Eddie turns around to throw the fucking line, Benoit grabs his arm Ooh. and he goes straight to the crossface so and then Eddie taps awesome. out. Yeah, just taps him out right away. I was like, every oh, that's single cool. one of these little back and forths are so well done. It's so like, smooth. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason. I mean, why there was a huge Benoit sign and all that shit there. Like, yeah. Compared to a lot of the guys on the roster, man, this guy was like legit. Legit. Yeah. Really. I mean, all every per, pretty much their entire mid card at this point was like legit. All time greatest ever. Yeah, well, fuck test. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck test, I guess. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know what they say about that. I gave the European title, dude. <laughs> uh, fucking fantastic finish here. Kurt Angle then locks the ankle lock dude, on Benoit after the bell. This was and crazy because they are zoomed in on this Benoit cross face on Eddie. And just out of nowhere, it's just like Benoit's being abducted by an alien. Woo! And he fucking gets pulled <laughs> off screen. And it's, Why? <laughs> and it's Kurt fucking ankle locking him. And Benoit taps out real quick, too. It just puts over the move real well. This is fucking smart yeah. stuff. Yeah, these guys were not afraid to, like, give each other shit. Yeah, which no, is cool, it's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they, they all made each other look good in the end. 
And then Tess was also in this match. Fuck! So backstage <laughs> segment, Deborah is in William Regal's office. Ah, Deborah. Uh, William Regal tells Deborah <laughs> that Steve Austin is not here, and uh, Vince will hold her responsible if anything happens between The Rock and Austin because she is currently The Rock's manager. Yes, and you're married to Stone Cold. Um, God, I, you know, man, it's like I see, you know, you watch the My Way promo a hundred times. And the Deborah stuff, and like it's funny because even in the My Way promo, he goes, "Yeah, put Deborah, you know, the, bam, just to get that yeah, shit. stuff yeah. it in there, stuff yeah, this they, fucking part of the angle." What in, there. in the world did they do that for? What, I, what was the whole point of that? I want my wife on here, son. I, it had Lots to be right. <laughs> it's, it's a big ski well. Oh, Deborah's managing the rock ski well. It's like the people just wanted to see the match already. I don't feel like they needed to. You know, right, she, I guess hindsight is twenty twenty and all that. Like piss. <laughs> <laughs> That should have been the real story was The Rock's trying to get her to drink pee. And Steve Austin's like, what? What? She's going to drink a Steve Weiser, if anything, son. No, she doesn't know what she likes to drink. Well, they're she drinking fucking piss. Bush Light and Budweiser, so yeah, they're drinking piss. Heavies, bro. <laughs> that tastes like piss, yeah. Yeah, the boys are drinking piss already. Steve Austin's <laughs> drinking piss every week. Never says, you know, none of this sounds fair. And Regal says, goodbye. <laughs> get out. Okay. Uh, we have the Lugs Boot of the Week. God, it we shows need to... the whole animation this here with is the blue so dude. Sick. The lugs guy super kicks a microphone <laughs> and then grinds the lugs on the top rope. <laughs> this is so grinding sick. was so cool back then. Just grinding. I want on this. Those we lugs. need this reanimated for us. Just because it's all orange. Just put the deadlock. Yeah, logo you're right. On it. Really? Wow. I guess so. It's at the end. Of, every time at the end of these two, it's the Rock doing the people's eyebrow. It even has nothing to do with the Rock. <laughs> it's the rock yeah. The, uh, the boot of the week. <laughs> the boot of the week. <laughs> It's Shane saying that he signed the contract for WCW. <laughs> Rock, oh my people's God. eyebrow. <laughs> uh, we go backstage. Shane tells Billy Gunn, he's like, Billy, Yo. what's going on, my dude? Big man. He's like, you know I own WCW now, right? Yeah, like, it's said, crazy. You're one of the greatest athletes in this co company. You know what? In this business, Billy Gunn. He said, hey, uh, thanks. I appreciate that, bro. Stephanie comes up and says, Vince is insane right now. Shane, you own WCW? You're crazy, Shane. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Shane says, you know, girl, <laughs> I got, I own as much of this as he does, and I own a whole other company. I own so many companies. Oh, well, yeah, dad's going to kill you at WrestleMania. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Shane says, no way. He goes, Billy, I catch you, man. Hey. Take it easy. <laughs> How could you say this is not Jose era Shane, man? That's crazy, Look, man. man. He, he went right back into Jose era. I think, it's, I think he was trying to be real up he's the up for the, the WCW TV. Sure. I mean, you know, he's with his boys. Maybe it is like he's out of the Jose era. Now he's in the boys era. Ah, he's out of the Jose era. He's in the boys, boys era. Sure. You can't hang out. You know what I mean? Like, you, you got to pick a side there. He's you know, you can take Shane out of the streets, but you can't take the streets out of Shane. You know? <laughs> That's yeah, you fucking said for it best, truth, bro. You know I own WCW. <laughs> and half of this company. I own half of this place and a whole other place. Oh, the we'll like that. I still own WCW. I'm now I'm like own Billy now. and the Hardys and everything. <laughs> you know, Billy, I got one and a half whole companies and I don't know if I got room for you so I'll talk to you later <laughs> <laughs> nah man you try to sign everybody in WCW you see yeah man Austin? I'll get back to you we bro <laughs> man we can't get Hogan or Nash the outsiders we can't get any of those fuckers you wanna come yeah, now Billy right. you remember that segment with the Rock you had that one time <laughs> oh, come man. on bro come on man I was come on bro hey hey hey, hey, hey. I, I remember it and they remember it so you keep it real man I'm gonna talk to you later <laughs> Shane style. Damn, bro. <laughs> Video package for Mick Foley, who has another new book. Uh, so he's back. <laughs> he has a I'm special referee <laughs> for the Big Man Street Fight at WrestleMania 17 because he has a new book. Yeah, this was a strange little fucking setup here. They uh they recap, you know, Foley on Raw saying that Mania wouldn't be Mania without Mick Foley involved. And Vince says, I'm in no mood for this. <laughs> Get the fuck out of okay. here. I'm so sick of your fucking crusty looking ass. Get out. <laughs> Dude, okay. Dude, they talk about this. Uh, the Big Foley is ref, and then they then Foley's entrance hits, and I thought he was coming out on SmackDown, but it Me wasn't. Me too. <laughs> Me too. They Vince did this said, before, and I think we fell for it. They did it I, again here, where like we always shit. fall for it. It's just because it's edited fucking weird. We just think it's the same entrance on the same yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vince says, Foley, I, I, I fired you a few weeks before Chris. Oh no, Foley says this that Vince fired him a few weeks before Christmas in two thousand. Uh, he says. Uh, you know, I knew what Vince had in mind, and your wife and I had a very important business meeting. <laughs> oh, shit. I introduced her to Mr. Congo. <laughs> I peed. I heard Linda likes piss. I heard she likes urine. 
<laughs> we, signed a, we, <laughs> we signed a lot of documents, but the document that I, I'm interested in is this one that says I could be the special ref at any match at Mania. What a Hold on a second, up. Foley. Hold I, I on. Just, Why would you not put yourself in the main event of WrestleMania? Why would you I'm, sign this? I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you can do anything you want with Linda and you want to ref a match on the show. Writing takes a long time. <laughs> I got this book. <laughs> just read the book. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick Foley's referee in that match because of the book. We yeah. go backstage. Uh, Steve Austin is now here. It's nine thirty. <laughs> Regal says, "Look, man, look." Bro, Vince said, "What the fuck?" Vince said, <laughs> "Steve Austin says, now we can move." He just walks right by him. Oh, yeah, he just walks right by him. What the hell? It's actually hilarious how opposite Steven and Rock are. Yeah. Rock also got no time for nonsense. Rock will try to fucking dress you down. He for makes sure. nonsense. Yeah. Uh, we go backstage. Vince is with Trish, and he finds the WCW limo backstage. Who? Who the hell? Who are parked in my? This is crazy. Who parked in my parking place? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. This Shame is my man, sir. This is my parking place. Who are you here for, pal? Shane McMahon, sir. Shane Mc Shane McMahon is is here. And then that's my son. Dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and then he sees Trish WCW on the license plate, and he makes the most disgusted look <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we see Thomas Hitman Hearns. Is he a ringside with his family? He is Who a boxer. Hell? Okay, thank you for answering before I ask. Yes, no thank problem. <laughs> he is apparently that. the hitman. I don't what know about the hell? that. Yeah, huh. that was a little crazy. I've only Video package of a bunch man. of matches for <laughs> Mania here. Literally just all of them. <laughs> Tell them yes. Down. There was one thing I did want to note from that video package, though, because they go over the Austin and Rock shit. Um, mm -hmm. and, and all this, I mean, it's in the video package at the, the My Way one at the end, but what a fucking crazy fucker Austin was. This guy was chugging four beers at once. And that's it so was, fucking and he, That's, a, that's like that yeah, Fortnite shit, man. <laughs> that's so fucking sweet. <laughs> I love this fucking guy, dude. Four beers in his hands. Uh, Steve Austin hits the ring, disturb song, going crazy, Hell crowd yeah, is erupting. Man. Fuck He's yeah. going nuts. Steve Austin comes out and tells Rock to bring his little carcass to the ring right now. I didn't come out to just flap my gums. I got something to say to a man face to face. So bring your little carcass to the ring right now. And just so I make myself clear, I ain't asking. I'm telling you to bring your carcass to the ring right now. <laughs> Somebody bring the carcass. Man, Get the gum. carcass. <laughs> uh, Vince McMahon comes out. Oh, no. Uh, and Austin Listen, says, you, <laughs> I wanted the rock, not a jackass. <laughs> Vince is just pleading with him, man. Please don't. Bro, oh, man. I've had a bad fucking week, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to shut up. And I'm not going to let you asshole. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a YouTube poop. So I put together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vince tells Austin to please just get out of the ring. Fuck off, man. And then Austin punches him. <laughs> <laughs> I punch you get the hell out of the ring right now. And he pokes Austin in the chest. Austin doesn't even wait. Austin just wails him in the fucking head. <laughs> and starts him out. He starts stomping him out. He follows him out of the ring to continue whooping his ass. <laughs> Rock comes out with the belt during the ass whooping and doesn't even try to. He just he throws, walks to the ring he with the belt. It on the floor. <laughs> just tosses the belt. What the fuck? But then they have the stare down, which is pretty fucking. Oh sweet. my god! I couldn't believe we were watching this in like yeah. real time here on this thing. I, yeah, cause... I've only seen it with a effect over it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah, I feel like just one. Yeah, yeah. God. Uh, Austin says Rock did something no one has done before <laughs> last Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> I never caught that he says it like that until this Monday. one. I'm glad you came out here, Rock. Last Monday night, <laughs> you did something to Stone Cold. Ain't never been done before. You gave Stone Cold Steve Austin a Stone Cold Stunner. No one ever did that before to him? No one hit him with the stun dog? Now, I that am can't not be right. positive. Vince McMahon did. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're right. I, he had I to think, have, right? I was thinking in my head, that's got to be like when Team 3D is like, we never lost a table match in TNA, but they have. So. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and, and now that when you finish giving me the stunner, you proceeded to drink Stone Cold Steve Austin's beer. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> and I know you're in my space. Hey, you, you're in my space right now. You might want to back up. <laughs> he does not back up. <laughs> he did not back up at all. You might not believe me when I say this, but I respect what you did. 
because ain't nobody did that Stone Cold Steve Austin before. Give me a damn beer. You know, give me one more. <laughs> and he I love how Austin was pissed that The Rock drank his beers. They were like Bush Light beers. Like you can get like a 24 pack what? for like eight That's bucks. That's for me though. <laughs> I'm drinking four at one time. I, it's a, it's a, we get a light shipment on Monday. <laughs> He's drinking those duels. He's like, why are you drinking on my beer, man? It's tough out here on a Monday. <laughs> Not an alcoholic beer. <laughs> Steve Austin got four adults going crazy. <laughs> oh man, this is the fucking beer segment from the My Way this promo, where so... Austin fucking slams it into his chest, and the beer goes everywhere, and this is all fucking nuts. Here's man. to your health. Here's to your happiness. <laughs> your penis. Here's the Rock walking down that aisle at WrestleMania as the WF champion for the very last time. He smashes the beer against Rock's chest. And Austin starts drinking a beer, and Rock takes the mic, and Austin has a little beer juice <laughs> going down his face. That dude, what face is there. crazy. Yeah. It, just, it feels like uh, it's like an iconic shot on accident. Yeah. <laughs> Rock says, well, that was a fine toast. <laughs> a fine speech. <laughs> <laughs> but the Rock has a toast of his own. Here's to your health. Here's to your happiness. And here is to getting your ass whooped at WrestleMania. And then Rock smashes the beer in Austin, and the people in the front row get doused with beer. They're all like, fuck "Oh, what the hell fuck? yeah, they do!" What the fuck, man? And I feel like does Austin crumple up the beer can? Yeah, yeah, it's it, like that. Uh, it's it. like that Arthur gift with his fist, you know, <laughs> yeah, his stick making a fist. Just, I thought he. I was like, he's crumpling it to punch him with. I, I don't remember him punching with him with the yeah, beer no, can. He, crumple, he, he crumples his, he and then the Rock it. crumples his too. Oh, uh, okay. And then they, they just start fucking throwing. Angry. They are yeah. throwing down here. The crowd's losing it. You can see Vince in the background, like a fucking animated character, flipping the fuck out. Ah! They were throwing punches. All I could hear in my head is, my way, my way, or the highway. <laughs> I know, man. Man. Oh, Yeah, exactly. That's what I hear every time. Vince is screaming for help. Austin and Rock are going at it. And here comes the WWF mid card to fucking break it up. And then the referees. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is so, so good. good, man. Yeah. Like, these are two of the best ever in a fucking promo battle that ends in a brawl. And it goes into one of the craziest. It goes into when wrestling died. So, like, this is the end of yeah. wrestling pretty much it's here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the week wrestling died. No it joke. Could, it couldn't get any better than this. You're right. <laughs> this is it, man. Sunday WCW is over. WCW gets bought. It's WrestleMania over. 17 this weekend. <laughs> Rock and Austin are done. That's it, man. Yeah. <laughs> the cops come out as Austin and Rock are falling over the barricade fighting. Bobby Roode and Kane out Anderson. here stop the fight. Sean Stasiak, oh fuck, man. He's about to snitch, too. <laughs> He's got something to say. He's got uh, a tape the recorder. The, <laughs> the boys are making us drink pee backstage. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Taker. Hey. The camera uh, catches them backstage as they all get caught, uh, carried to the back. Austin gets shoved in one locker room. Rock gets shoved into another, still talking shit. <laughs> it's just tremendous, man. I love that they follow them to the back, too. They put them, yeah, they put them in the separate rooms. The separate rooms. Pretty yeah. cool, man. Yeah. I like that a lot. Me too. Um, so perfect, literally perfect segment. You couldn't ask. This probably sold a million pay-per-views, I'm sure. Oh my God, hell um, yeah. This was just beautiful. Uh, we go backstage. Vince is with Trish and says, man, this has been a fucking horrible week. This is a horrible <laughs> week. WrestleMania coming up. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I lost, I lost WWE. WWE Shane. Yeah. <laughs> my jaw hurts. I lost my main event. And then he looks on the CRT TV. I don't know if it was labeled WWF or not, so I don't know what show if he knew what he was watching. But Shane is talking to Jericho, and this is like a full. This felt like a like a here comes the pain cut scene. What the hell is that? What are Shane and Chris Jericho talking about? <laughs> That's this what he must just be the closed circuit feed. What was he watching? Yeah, what well, we didn't see that. You're right. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> we How did he see that? He had the Chris Jericho feed <laughs> on TV. The Geritron he had in his fucking office. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? The CRT. Crazy, man. This was the, man. Dark, the, like, the darkest office I've ever seen Vince in, by the way. He looked like he was in a man cave. <laughs> yeah, they, they like put up out. a tarp on the back wall and two <laughs> lights, and they said, this will work. This Good is end. office now. Uh, we have the WWF Overdrive of the Week. <sighs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, the fucking dog in a suit pops up. I'm already losing. I'm like, whoa, look at that fucking dog. Overdrive of the week. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Paul Heyman said that. I mean, I like that talking dog. <laughs> I love that talking doggy. Yeah. Uh, WWF Overdrive of the week, which is a Greyhound advertisement, by the way. Yeah, go to hell, uh, Greyhound. That hits the twist of fate on Edge. 
but Rhino gores him and then gores Lita to straight hell. to hell. Fucking hell, dude. What the fuck? So we get Matt Hardy versus Rhino up next. This was Rhino's very first singles match in the WWF. Whoa. Is that right? Was the Gorda Lita and commentary. was the Gorda Lita and Matt his debut or no? Yes, it was. It, it was. was. His debut, oh, yes. Oh, that's fucking cool. Uh, you could also probably tell it was his debut because uh, Paul Heyman will not stop talking about him being the last ECW champion. <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> Paul, stop! Shut up! <laughs> Christian is out here. Ian Sear with Rhino. Jeff is with Matt, obviously. Lita not here because she was gored into oblivion. Matt and Jeff are uh, in WrestleMania 17 jerseys as well, which I also Everybody love. is. Yeah. Everybody has Regal these jerseys. Is, yeah. Christian out here with a big-ass Willy Wonka glasses. <laughs> this is the greatest wrestler <laughs> that's ever lived. <laughs> He's bringing back. Rhino is... I, I don't know if a lot of people regard him in, in a, like a super positive way, like as a worker long term. They just kind of remember the gore. Yeah. Uh, He's wow, what a great, fantastic worker. And he yeah. looks like a fucking wrestler too, man. This guy is fucking yeah. 16 by 9. He is a wide fucker, man. This guy is crazy. Yeah, absolutely. His TNA stuff was a lot of fucking fun too, Hell yeah, to be honest man. It's, with you. It's so, I, I will say this till the fuck. I'm blue in the fucking face. I swear I've said this on the show. If not, I've said it on stream. How the fuck... Did Vince not see Rhino hitting that gore on The Rock and The Rock selling it like the craziest thing ever and not say, whoa, that was do it again on pay-per-view. Like, what Because he fuck? had to hear Paul Heyman every week. Yeah, you're right. Paul <laughs> yeah, fuck, it's, fuck, not, yeah. it's not worth it, man. It's just not fucking worth yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> I can't hear it anymore. You're right. Actually, you're fuck the fucked up part is, I know we're laughing. That probably is right. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Uh, Rhino does the fucking Joshi boot scrape, which is like insane. That was awesome. Uh, Rhino does the corner boot and take he like he goes. It's the feed into the corner, and then you take the boot. Yes. Rhino bumps like he. This is WrestleMania. Like he is at <laughs> WrestleMania. He looks like he just got shot. Yeah. Uh, Matt Hardy hits a fucking flying clothesline here. Oh my god! Uh, I know. Rhino misses a gore. Uh, Matt hits the twist of fate, but E and C distract the referee. No. Well, was it that? Was it they were fighting with Jeff on the floor? Right? Was that what it was? Edge was fighting with Jeff. I yeah, think. they get up on the apron. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then Christian, as the ref goes over to Edge, because see, that's the one Jeff yes. was able to get. Christian comes in the ring, hits the unprettier on Matt. They call it the unprettier. I said, yes. <laughs> uh, and then Rhino pins him. Nice. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Rhino. Uh, debut match wins. That's good cool. for him. Yeah, but it, it is um, not over. <laughs> it is not no over. Way. Just yet. This is WrestleMania season, baby. <laughs> yeah, we got to send this one home. Uh, Edge and Christian get a ladder out. Um, but Jeff ends up hitting them both with the chair, grabs the ladder, and then him and Matt run it into Edge and Christian. <laughs> and Rhino, too. They fucking annihilate fucking Rhino with it. Christian Rhino gets takes it with a it. lot. Yeah, he yeah. gets a shit Oh, yeah, he takes a twist of fate onto a chair and the swanton as well. Yeah. It, it is, dude, there's more. <laughs> 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 Matt then tells Jeff to get the tables, Dudley style. Uh, and then the Dudleys <laughs> come out. <laughs> they start everything, fighting. too. Holy shit. They come out in jeans. And, I love this look for them, by the way. <laughs> this is like that that casual look. I love the Devon's look here is awesome. There Get was the no wood. there was no reason for them to come out here, really, though. They could have just let yes, them do there their was. spot. You, you don't do get to do spot. the tables. That's our thing. <laughs> they just come out to fuck up the Hardys because they wanted the 3D. And Rhino they takes the 3D. Done it. Rhino takes the 3D through the table. Yeah, he gets fucked by every team here. <laughs> well, they, uh, Colin commentary says, uh, on commentary says it was revenge for Brother Spike. So I guess Rhino probably fucked him up. Some other night, maybe on yeah, Raw or something. ECW or something. Yeah, well, that fucking absolutely <laughs> is fucking true. God damn um, it. Dude, it sounded like the Dullies had a remix song on their outro. It did sound a little weird, didn't it? I don't know if the EQ was different or something, but yeah, that yeah. sounded crazy. I don't know. They're trying to figure it out. Jim Johnson was... Wiki, wiki. He was playing around with it backstage. <laughs> Dick Johnston. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Johnston. <laughs> Dick Johnston. <laughs> We go backstage. Vince asked Chris Jericho if he was talking to Shane earlier. My son? Jericho says, Are you talking to my son? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> well, he you says, know, you, you're under contract with the WWF, don't you? You know that. He goes, I'm the Intercontinental Champion, Vince. <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> I was just shooting the breeze, Junior. I'm oh, not <laughs> Junior. <laughs> that was the important part here. And Jericho just goes, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, backstage again, Vince asked Trish for a favor. Says, Can you compete in a match tonight? Trish says, Well, I don't really have my gear. And Vince you says, what a, Whatever. You're going to face Ivory in a Braun Penny's match. Not for the title. <laughs> All right. For my amusement. He does uh, it for my amusement. And Trish, uh, Trish says, You know, anything for the right cause. I want to help you out. And Vince says, uh, You got a bra on, right? 
And she said, yeah. Yeah, you got panties on? And she has to check. <laughs> she said, yeah. <laughs> All right, get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you got bra and panties and a shirt and pants on? That turns me on. <laughs> you wearing clothes? Oh, oh yeah, yes. I love clothes. <laughs> uh, Triple H segment. No way, Undertaker segment. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> no way. He comes out on the motorcycle. It's fucking Triple H. Oh, fuck. With the hat. With the gloves. Triple H <laughs> on the motorcycle. Stephanie comes out. It's Triple H's sledgehammer. Wait, wait, you're missing the greatest Paul Heyman line. That's the Undertaker dressed up like Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> I did not hear that. I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> was it uh, Michael Cole, goes? No, that's Cole. actually Triple H. And then, yeah, then dumbass. Paul Heyman goes, "Yeah, you're you're real quick here. You figured it out all in one." <laughs> you know, Michael Cole felt like a smacked ass after that. That was genuine. <laughs> So Stephanie gets Triple H a sledgehammer. He destroys the fucking motorcycle and he takes his time here too. Dude, this felt like eternity. Like he like makes sure to chip off every piece of this motherfucker. Now you know like, what's Damn. crazy here? What's that? You know what's crazy here is that they had to have a 20 minute promo at the start <laughs> and then he also had to have a promo or a, a, like a segment later on for Something this. Later. Did y'all really have, like do we can skip the first part? Well, we couldn't, they we, couldn't have done the first because they had to get Taker arrested so that they could mess Taker, with the bike. He has a restraining Taker. order already. Well, I got Connect, I made some calls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. Boy, I'm already out of there. Out of there. <laughs> don't, yeah, you got to get him take her out of there. Come on, man. Think about it. It's a restraining order. You can't it's, show up tonight, man. No, I'm, it's, I'm showing they, up. <laughs> they had to get continuity. The Triple H had to cut 20 minutes so that they could do this bike segment. I, I bet that's exactly cops. what Triple H said. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> So Regal tells Stafford to go to the well, no, your career. He also, not only does he fuck this motorcycle off, he shoves it off the stage. Well, like, almost doesn't. I thought he was going with it. <laughs> that is how fucked up this guy. It like teetered. It yeah. teetered for a second. He was like, oh shit. And then he does and the Undertaker uh, fist taunt on the stage. And Drops the sledgehammer on top of the bike too. Fuck you, man. Uh, Regal tells Deborah, please go to Vince's office. She's like, <laughs> Regal in no pants. <laughs> Rest the jersey. WrestleMania jersey, <laughs> jersey only. On. <laughs> no underwear, nothing. Yo, just WrestleMania shirt. Little Regal dick. What are you going on here, man? <laughs> the WWF burn of the week. So many of the weeks, man. Yeah, there's a lot here. The Rock hits the stunner on Steve Austin on Raw <laughs> as <laughs> porn music plays in the background. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What a, I'm burning. <laughs> Sweet. Don't you think the week would have been better if it was Shane buying WCW and then the boot of the week could have been the boot of the week the the could have been the boot of the week should have been Shane walking out and the burn of the week is Shane saying that he bought WCW. The boot of the week is him showing up in the limo. The of the week is Shane saying that he bought WCW. The boot of the week is him showing up in the limo. Of course. <laughs> With the Nitro license plate. Tonight. Yeah. Dude, you know that WWE was getting like $5 million oh, for these segments, yeah. dude. Just, yeah. what, whatever. The burn of the week is the rock. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. The, the smack of the night is Trish the smack walking ass the of the night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Backstage, uh, Vince meets with Deborah. Uh, Vince tells Deborah that what he is about to do is not personal. Do not get it twisted. Uh, I still hate Stone Cold's. I hate your husband. <laughs> this is not personal, but I fucking hate your husband. I hope he dies. <laughs> Vince said it is not because of that. It is not definitely not because he almost ruined the WrestleMania main event. And it's definitely not because he almost busted my jaw in two. <laughs> It's only because she didn't do her job since so she is no longer the manager of The Rock. You are no longer the man. You, you've you relieved of your duties of manager of The Rock. And The Rock comes in and he says, William Regal likes to be relieved in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and Deborah said, that's true. <laughs> Deborah says, that isn't fair. And Vince says, sometimes life isn't fair. That was enough for her. She's all right. I guess that makes that's sense. all she said tonight was every segment. That's not fair. Well, that's not fair. Well, that's not fair. I don't agree. You're out of here. You're I out disagree. Of here. <laughs> Trish Stratus versus Ivory Bra and Panty Style up next. No, no way. No, 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 no way. Am I going to be in this match? And I, she, she says, I am not participating in this degrading Bra and Panties match. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> because she was about to come out and do the right to censor salute. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Ivory comes out. She's in right to censor, so she says there's no way she's participating in this match. Ivory comes to the ring. Trish attacks Ivory. Ivory 
rips off Trish's shirt by accident <laughs> and then tries to put it back on that her. Is, that is so sick. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. Yeah, That's just, awesome. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, me too. Um, China comes down to the ring. A uh, huge pot for China here. Bandana. Um, <laughs> bandana China comes Let's down to the go. ring. Pulls Ivory off Trish and then rips all of Ivory's clothes off. <laughs> rips her fucking shirt and pants off. What the fuck? <laughs> Beast mode. <laughs> Who wins? Trish wins? China uh, wins. China wins. Nobody, nobody wins. I don't even know if that's down in the history books. Not. I don't even know uh, that, that isn't match, in the honestly. records, man. We're not keeping track of this. Yeah, we got to. We got to start doing. Oh yeah, it. then they make fun of they make fun of Ivory because she's wearing regular underwear, not a thong or anything. They're like, oh, she's wearing... <laughs> oh my god, look at you with your shirt and your pants. Look at your drawers. Your... <laughs> Get the jars on out there. Your shirt and your pants, your eyes. Uh, Chris Jericho and Kane are walking backstage. Oh, holy fuck! This is <laughs> Jericho. Jericho's walking backstage and then they show Kane and Kane walks through his own little red hallway. <laughs> it looks it sweet when so they, bad. It looks sweet it's, when they showed like the close-up yeah, of Kane walking through this red tunnel. Then they pan out and it's just a little tunnel. <laughs> Why did they pan out, man? It looked I cool. I could have stopped fucking laughing. Why did they pan out, man? Hey Kane, go drink some pee. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Got a little okay. slot here for it. <laughs> you know when you see a red tunnel like that, you just have to go through it. It's just one of those things. Like as a kid, you know, you see something like that, you just gotta walk through Hell it. Kane yeah. was just like that. You gotta go Kane through this is tunnel. Only thirty-three years old. Here. <laughs> you think they were sending? <laughs> you think they were sending Kane home early from school? Why didn't we get that side of it? Taker got sent home, but what is Kane still in the yard hanging out with the boys? <laughs> yeah, Kane liked to play games, you know. Uh, we actually saw it in uh, the SJ's no, live. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not seen no evil. Kane never went to we school. Kane never went to school. He was just hanging out in a cage, butt naked, little dick. That movie is not a documentary of Kane's life, okay? <laughs> is it not? Wait, no, no it's it not. not. Have okay. they ever came out and said that Kane's name in the WWF for shoot is Glenn Jacobs? Or is it always just assumed Kane? Because it could be Jacob Goodnight and you don't know. That's true. Something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> William Regal and Big Show versus Chris Jericho and Kane is up next. Oh, you know, no. the WrestleMania match they got to set up for the biggest hardcore match of all time, you know? Because what, what is, is it? It's Regal and Jericho at Mania? And yeah, I think so. Big, Big right. Show and Kane and, and Raven. Raven. <laughs> Okay. What about Raymond? Uh, Rico says Jericho has besmirched him for the last time. <laughs> he soiled his tea and jumped him from behind. And I liked it. <laughs> Rico says, I will become the IC champion at WrestleMania. What happened to Regal's eye? I feel like there's a run here up to Mania 17 where Regal just has a fucked up eye. And I don't know if I ever found out why. It's from the tea, man. <laughs> It just pops Pissed your blood made his eye go weird. in your eye. That's like pink eye. <laughs> he got something got. Jericho, oh. okay. Jericho is Intercontinental Champion with the fucking Beast Tights. God. With the girl Tron. Based. Ain't nobody stopping this fucking no guy, way. man. Come on now. There's also a sign Do in the crowd that says spot of P, Regal. <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge angle back in the it day, was. man. This it was, was, was a really big angle. Uh, big Show wrestling in the weirdest fucking singlet I've ever seen. It looked what? like he was wearing a Hanes fucking tank top. It did look weird. With he's uh, trunks. He's also wearing elbow pads, which I feel like was also weird. Yeah. He had, yeah. I don't know. what Big Show, come on, man. It was mania season. He didn't want to it's jeopardize his <laughs> This is Big Show after one cup of PT. <laughs> well. Big Show, uh, Gorilla presses Jericho above the turnbuckle and then drops him face first on the Fuck. fucking ground. Fuck, Crazy. man. He launches him down. Also, during this, Michael Cole is reminding people to set their clocks ahead an hour so you don't miss WrestleMania. That's fucking crazy, Fuck, man. I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I missed the whole show. Well, you're late. You just you can't do it in now. You missed the beginning part, you know? Like, of course I'm not. Like I'm like fucking not, I'm not nine. Paying. I'm not... You know, fucking, I haven't changed what? <laughs> set your clocks ahead, you idiot. <laughs> Kane... Does a straight up vertical suplex, man. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> he also just starts hitting combos on Regal. It's crazy here, man. Kane goozles show the choke slam, but Regal stops him. Show then goozles Kane and Jericho stops him. <laughs> Jericho stops him with a top rope missile <laughs> drop. <laughs> that he doesn't bump for, I don't think, does he? No, I don't think so. <laughs> he just teeters and then Kane clotheslines Big Show over the top rope. 
Uh, Jericho locks in the walls of Jericho, but Show gets back in and choke slams him. <laughs> big, big fucking choke slam, man. Yeah, Double yeah, pump. Show might have looked crazy here, man, but he was working. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's Manny season. <laughs> uh, Kane then hits the Kane line on Show. Show bumps like a sack of bricks. Oh, fuck, crazy he, shit here, fuck. man. What a fucking collision. Holy shit, yeah, man. That, that rattled absurd. him. That rattled him to his gore. I think I don't think he was expecting all that. <laughs> no comment goes, hey, it's Raven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like just bring it commentary. <laughs> what is Raven doing here tonight? <laughs> he doesn't know either because Kane knocks him down. This was the <laughs> Kane right. knocks down Raven. Raven's here to Raven. fucking get involved and he gets bumped and then we don't see him again. <laughs> Raven apparently brought down a fire extinguisher, so now this William Regal was... hits Jericho. <laughs> Right in the fucking forehead with his fire extinguisher, that man. That shit was crazy. I was also stun logged for a solid 10 seconds trying to figure out where the fuck William Rico got a fire extinguisher from. It had uh, to be Raven. It definitely yeah. was, yeah. But I've, they didn't, like, when we see Raven, he's, like, just getting up onto the apron. So I don't, he must have had a fucking throw this fucking fire extinguisher or something, man. Uh, Regal logs in the Regal stretch on Jericho. Uh, and Jericho taps. Uh, Regal does not let go of the Regal stretch here. And, uh, of course, show on the outside. What, it's what the, fuck? the final cut on Kane. <laughs> the go, That's the final cut. <laughs> okay. Raven. So Raven was knocked down from earlier, by the way. Hey, it's Raven. Raven then tries attacking Big Show and then throw just pushes him into the stairs. Just, just pushes him into the stairs. And then that's it. that's it. That's it. We're out. <laughs> Raven just jabroni twice. Raven is no the reason. hardcore champion. Champion right now, by the way. <laughs> Fuck you, Ray. He hasn't even been there a year. That's rough. He looks great too, by the way. He here. looks awesome. I'm kind of glad it works out like this because he has some really fun TNA stuff. His so. dude, that yeah, I mean, does. during the weekly pay per views, like Ray, that honestly, man, I don't know how many people saw it, but the build up to Jarrett and Raven, I actually thought was fucking awesome. Dude, that's probably one of his better matches ever. Really, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, so the, too. Yeah, the match and the yeah, everything, and then like even stuff after that, stuff he was doing with fucking Sabu, even like, and we, he gets scalped sadly, but like that was fucking crazy visual at least. Like, oh, dude, the, yeah, the way that they cut was like. Fuck. Oh my god, that was fucked up. I wish those shows weren't so fucking long, because I'd love for us to cut. Maybe we'll have to, like, find a week we can fucking do that, because there's a bunch of, like, probably, like, all-timer stuff on those weeklies. It's just they're, like, long as fuck. They were well done, yeah. too, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think the production was probably better on some of those shows than it was later on. Probably, yeah. They gave up. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we get the My Way promo. Holy fuck, man. Yeah, this is, uh... This video is, like, like, you know, you see stuff, uh, you know, uh, regurgitated online and like on Twitter, you'll see it on like Squared Circle a million times, just people mm -hmm, posting the same yeah. video. And it's like, okay, yeah, I've seen this a bunch. It's cool. But man, like this, I, I don't know if this could ever possibly get old. I have seen this, it, it may, it, probably not kidding a thousand times or more, like not joking. Like I remember yeah. nights where I just have it on repeat. Oh, it's awesome. It's it yeah. Is. Like, and it is so fucking good. Like. It is the epitome of wrestling hype videos for me. Like it's 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 unbelievable. It, it's, they edited most of that at the end, like from the show. From the show, how? Yeah. Well, SmackDown was taped, know. right? So they had to. You know what? I didn't even think of that. You're right. Yeah, you <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> wow, less. But worked. they could they could have done it though because they did that uh, mania. They always edit like the. I was gonna say they probably act. did do it live, like at the night. <laughs> they yeah, had to but, do it. But they had that yeah, part with the beers, true. the iconic beer shot Fuck, where they man. clank the beers what a in there. Fucking great fucking video man. that's like one of my favorite parts of the promo yeah after the my way promo we have a backstage segment with kevin kelly <laughs> meeting up with steve austin backstage austin says bleep 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 wf champion bleep this, they have this, whole, setup, bleep noises, this whole setup has been bleep bloop from the start vince <laughs> made my bleep, wife bloop. the rocks manager bleep bleep bloop <laughs> look at me you son of a bloop <laughs> The bottom line is, is you stupid son Cole, of a bitch. Yeah. It's all like that. Stone Cold needs to be WWF champion. Stupidly blue, 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 blue. <laughs> and he fucking it launches is. his fucking bag as he leaves. And now that I think about it, why did he bring his gear back? <laughs> he he's going to open up a can of whoop ass. He wasn't yeah, he's wrestling got, on this He's show. got beer in there. That's all he's got in his bag. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's just bush and butt light in there. <laughs> bleep, bloop. Bloop, bleep, bloop, bloop, son. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, a little, I guess, a little foreshadowing for for WrestleMania there, because I say, I've had enough, son. Yeah, and uh, that's it, man. And then wrestling died. <laughs> yeah, legit that weekend. 
They, WCW was bought on Monday and wrestling died on Sunday. <laughs> like jesus <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say solomon grundy but i guess that works yeah i think too. it's just same, one, one of the same when you think about it <laughs> <laughs> you really get down to it yeah it's a fun show man it's fun fun go home show like a lot yeah. of fucking bullshit <laughs> like they're just these guys are crazy they, like you said i mean you as you said at the top like they knew they could do whatever, man, because you are going nowhere. <laughs> you yeah, are no, show. Yeah. They you for are. sure Triple H said we could do it all. <laughs> I want to be on there <laughs> twice. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. That's insane. I'm trying to see what the rating was uh, for this SmackDown. Uh, Probably 9.4. Or I was going to sure. say that would be something fucking nuts. Uh, for... Uh, it says 4.9, but then it says 7.0, so I don't know what the... I believe I eight, 7. Let's just add them together, and that's probably it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, the craziest part is, like, WCW died, and then all those fans just said, yeah, whatever, man. Yeah, know. I'm over this. Fuck this WWF yeah, shit. Really? I want wrestling. <laughs> there you go. Wrestling died, and uh, that's it. That's the whole... Do you like... 